springtime in the Delaware Valley. Lacrosse season. Now's the time you should be talking. The time of year Nick Kalaluri lived for. He was so excited to get on the field and, you know, just made, he wanted to make a name for himself and he did. One of four boys raised in this Ridley home. It sitting was in. Animal House now. <laughs> this room that you're sitting in was actually a hockey rink. It was, it was basketball, court, basketball, uh, court. Matt, uh. basketball court, wrestling <laughs> mat. Nick brought his Philly tough attitude to Ridley High School and eventually to Hofstra on a lacrosse scholarship. In his mind, he was a six foot five giant and uh, he wasn't, he was five foot 10. Uh, you know, 165, 175 pounds, and, uh, but he was a beast on the field. He had a relentless determination, and you know, he lived his life that way on and off the field. Believe it or not, when we first started playing, me and Nick told my parents, we made a bet with them, at that young of an age, we're gonna go play Division One together, uh, we're gonna get full scholarships, and uh, that dream came true for about two weeks. Shortly after Michael joined him at Hofstra in the fall of 2005, Nick took on his fiercest opponent yet, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, a disease that ultimately ended his lacrosse career and 14 months later, his life. But the former high school star carried his oversized will and determination throughout his battle with cancer. And now his family and the Headstrong Foundation Nick started embody that personality. I think it's absolutely amazing the way that he took the news um, and, and just took it in stride and as a 19 year old to be diagnosed with a terminal disease most kids that age would crumble. He didn't have a tear in his eye. He was like, ready to go for a game. Like he was just like let's go. I'm very happy that Nick did start the foundation. Oh, I'm thankful. Because it's it's our therapy. As yeah. weird as that sounds. Um, I don't know what we'd do if we didn't have this. <laughs> You know, but, uh, you but know, we, we share our son and yeah. uh, his, his life and his story to make mm -hmm. a difference. difference. The Headstrong Foundation has swept through the nation, and the trademark lime green shoelaces are a staple in the lacrosse community. The foundation was recently named the beneficiary of the 2012 Major League Lacrosse All-Star Game. That support allows Headstrong to continue to make a life-changing impact on people like cancer survivor Joe Clifford. It's all about, you know, a battle and just the way Nick, you know, you know, you know about his obviously endeavors with lacrosse and how he was just such a fighter, you know, he wasn't the biggest guy, but he fought through it. You know, I wasn't the biggest guy either, but I kind of, you know, used that spirit to fight through my leukemia. And, you know, I was only 30. I mean, I had two kids. I mean, I wasn't going to go anywhere because, you know, my kids needed me and I don't think you know, I would have been able to do it without Nick's spirit. That spirit lives on five minutes from where Nick grew up at Nick's house. Welcome to our mini warehouse. Uh, as you can see, the lime green is evident. Uh, the building is a was a six month project and um, we're able to open our doors uh, to house cancer patients and it serves as dual purposes. It serves as our um, headquarters and also um, our living space for our patients. Colorado native Dave Remington and his wife have come all the way to Nick's house while she undergoes ovarian cancer treatment at the University of Penn, a hardship the Kalaluris know all too well. Without their help, I don't know what I'd have done at times. You know, it's, it's really hard because you can only push so much onto your credit card. <laughs> I mean, and then, you know, with the expectation of my wife possibly, in fact, very probably passing away, it just becomes exceedingly difficult. So they've helped a lot. And having been through this with Nick, you can tell time and time again when you talk to them that they really understand what's going on. And I have taken Nick as an inspiration. I mean, seriously, he's one of the first guys I'm going to look up when I get to heaven. He's his family. This is a permanent stamp of what Nicholas meant uh, to the community, to the lacrosse community, um, and to, you know, the blood cancer community. And so for us, every day we're here at this building is motivating. When we walk in the door, the first thing we see is a portrait of Nicholas, and it's just very reassuring that what we're doing is wonderful and great. And even though Nick is no longer with them. Like the lights just flickered, see that? Yeah, yeah. he's here. Or maybe he is. There he is. There he is, see it again? They see the light? There's no doubt that Nick's dream continues to come true thanks to those closest to him. I think he is overseeing all this stuff because uh, we don't have any 
experience in nonprofit, uh, you know, anything of this nature that we're doing. Uh, we're just a, a family that is committed to him um, and, uh, and doing everything we can to be able to make his dream uh, and his vision come true. Our goals are, is the next time that I see him, I want him to say, yo, dad and mom, you did a good job. That's basically what we're going to do. Yep. So I'd check out. <laughs> he knew it because he told me, he said, Mom, my brotherhood will never turn their back. He said, they are going to embrace this. And I said, okay, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> and he was saying, Mom, he was adamant about it. And uh, if, you know, if he were here, he'd be leading this charge.